We have a challenge in today's environments, and that is we might have a service or an inf- a grouping of information, and we want to disseminate the service or information out there into the wild so that it can be close to the users of that. We have server farms that are distributed over the, the internet for that purpose as well. Well, how do we get communication to be responded to by the nearest owner of that service or information? Well, we use a technology called Anycast in order to do that. Now, this is this works in IPv4, but the designers didn't really have it in mind. The way that Anycast addresses work is there are multiple owners of a global unicast address. So a global unicast address is intended to be unique, assumed to be unique, but when we use it for an anycast purpose, we conceal the fact that we might have that address scattered in many different places. Okay? This allows for one to nearest communication. And what happens is if someone is trying to talk to an Anycast address, your routing tables are going to automatically point to the nearest location. If we use a, you know, OSPF v3 or EIGRP to point to an address, point to where that address lives, well, they're naturally going to find the least cost pathway in order to get there. So the, the routing t- tables don't even know. They might see a few different ways to to choose based on the routing information that they have, but they're going to route to the nearest location, the nearest owner of that address. So you are taking this from the global unicast. It's indistinguishable, uh, must be explicitly configured as any cast on the node, so the node need to understand that. And all the nodes should behave the same way because... um, you know, it's it's. I, I always think of it like going out and renting a DVD, although that's kind of passe, right? No offense if you rent DVDs still. But you don't want to drive a thousand miles to your nearest blockbuster. You want to go, you know, just up the street, right? Um, and hopefully they all have the same library of DVDs that you can choose from. And you go out there, you get Die Hard 1, and you pop that in, and the nostalgia kicks in. Uh, so one to nearest. This is certainly possible in IPv4. We do see it. We do use it. And uh, the the world has yet to really see how this is going to be utilized. But it might grow very, very heavily in terms of utilization as things like media streaming uh, grow in popularity. And we do that streaming over IPv6 and its internet.